Look, it's daylight now. Look at the sky. Clouds look like. I don't know how to describe it. It looks really nice. You know what I was thinking about? Look at that. Oh, it look even nicer. Huh. So beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful morning. You know what I was thinking about, people of God? I was just thinking about all of the hate and hidden evil and things that are happening now. And I said, I was saying to myself, just walking and thinking about this, why is there so much hate where I know that some people's hate come from their own insecurities or they feel like, you know, they get start getting a little jealous and stuff. But I'm like, if you're really, really successful, it goes back to, I guess, a pure heart and a wicked heart, you know, because we can check ourselves at the end of the day. But if you're really becoming successful from a pure place, you are fought a lot on every side. And when you know what that feels like to be fought against simply because you're trying to reach a level that the average person may not reach in life or the average people don't strive for, right? Or something that you've never seen before. When you reach that level of success, you're going to try to make it easier for people who come from the same place as you come from. People who have are genuine, have a pure heart. You're going to try to make it easier for your brothers and sisters. Sometimes that's why God puts certain people in certain positions, you know, so that they can steward over that and be a blessing to his people. But, um... You see so much people who you think or thought were successful at one point and the things that they're doing, how they're trying to kick other people's head off. I'm like, are they, were they really successful? Were they really blessed by God? You know, because how some people try to change the way other people live their lives forcefully. God don't even force himself on nobody. We all have free will. And if we let our light shine, sometimes people begin to change, even those who oppose us sometimes with their dark ways, because they think that their way is right. So some people oppose us because they have a, you know, they're in the wrong path, like Paul was. Paul was crucifying Christians because he was on the wrong path. But when he realized his ways was wrong, he never turned back. And sometimes what I believe is some people, when they're coming at the God's children who are pure in heart if they're ignorant and they think that what they're doing is right if the more they keep coming after you and coming after you the more God is going to keep showing them and diminishing their what they are using in their wicked powers and he's going to keep using you to show them his true power and some of them that's when they begin to have a heart change and they turn but for those who already profess to know God and they may, their hands might not be in dark but they do things with their mind. They use their mind to try to hurt the progress of their brothers and sisters. Or they see their brothers and sisters who started out with them, moving past them and superseding them in certain areas. And they get jealous of that. And rather than take time to just sit back and say, you know what? I don't need to be around nobody right now. I got to go on the fast and just spend time alone in prayer and get people to pray with me. Or just spend time alone in fasting and prayer. They feed their pride by continuing to go on and garnering up the praises of people who can't see them for who they are. And they begin to try to knock their brother and sister down because they're simply jealous of them. But they don't come out and say they're envious and jealous of you because if they do it like that, people will see them for who they are. I mean, those who got eyes to see can already see. But... <laughs> They got to make it look like they're coming up against you from a righteous judgment standpoint when really it's not. Because if you got something to say, you can say it without trying to assassinate my character. 
without trying to put people's pull other people's name down and make other people see them in a negative way you're doing that because you simply are a hater and it's so sad it's so sad to see somebody operating from that place when you should be happy with what you got and what's going on in your life but obviously you're not just my thoughts for this morning i'm gonna keep on moving and that's what we should all do keep on moving around folk like that when you see folk publicly assassinating other people's names don't let that type of energy get on you stay focused on what you got going on and don't never do business with somebody like that because it may be that person today or tomorrow but it could be you next week that's what's in them you supersede them or you do something better than them they're gonna come trying to assassinate your character next yeah so anyway that's just my little two since y'all have a blessed day. Hey!